This is the Bose Soundlink Revolve Plus 2. It comes with a lot of interesting features and some good sounding audio with a very portable build. There's a lot to like about it, but can it really deliver? And after you get it, what should you be expecting? The Bose Soundlink Revolve Plus 2 is a relatively small speaker that comes with a smooth 360 degree design, and it's meant to sit vertically. I think the build quality is sturdy and it comes with a lantern-like shape made from a perforated anodized aluminum grill with no seams which protects the driver, although it tends to collect fingerprints. It also comes with silicone coated end tips for enhanced durability, so it should be able to survive a couple accidental drops. I thought the woven fabric handle was easy to carry and the lightweight frame provides phenomenal portability. Even more, it comes with an IP55 dust and water resistance rating, which means it's weatherproof and it can withstand some splashes, so it's perfect for outdoor use. The buttons are found on top and it gives you a range of controls, although I would have liked to see a more textured finish. You get a power button that also informs you of the battery level through a voice prompt, a Bluetooth button that notifies you which devices you're connected to, and plus minus controls for volume, and a multi-purpose button that can control playback, skip tracks, and backtrack. This button can also answer and or decline phone calls, and you can hold it down to activate your voice assistant. Unfortunately, I thought the voice assistant performance was relatively poor, it lacks a built-in Alexa or Google Assistant, and it uses the one that you have on your smartphone. So it wasn't especially responsive, but it was still convenient to have. It comes with a Bluetooth 4.1 connection, and I found this to be relatively strong and reliable with no drops or interruptions, although I would have liked to see Bluetooth 5.0 for the price. You get a solid range of 30 feet, so you don't have to worry about moving back and forth with the paired device, but this offers some freedom compared to the wired Bose Home Speaker 500. It also has multi-point pairing support, which allowed me to connect two devices simultaneously and smoothly switch back between the audio sources. This connection is also low latency, and it works very well with iPhone and Android devices, which makes it adequate for watching videos. It even provides a USB port for a wired connection and a 3.5mm aux jack for legacy devices. I think the battery life is one of the biggest strengths and it's impressive considering the small size. It delivers 17 hours of continuous playback, but this depends on your volume levels and settings. A full charge is relatively quick and it takes around 4 hours. It also comes with a handy auto off feature that powers down after a specific period of inactivity, and you can adjust that length of time to wait between 5 minutes and 3 hours. Or you can disable the feature entirely, using the companion app. You even get a battery level light under the power button. If you're enjoying this video and you learned something about the Bose Soundlink Revolve Plus 2, be sure to give the video a like, it really helps the channel. And if you're interested in updated pricing, be sure to check out the links in the description. It comes with a single downward firing transducer, two passive radiators to enhance the bass, and an internal deflector that provides an impressive 360 degree directivity, so the sound is uniform from most angles. The frequency response accuracy is respectable, and I thought it delivered a reasonably neutral, well-balanced sound profile. It offers a decent low-end response, although it does struggle to reproduce sub-bass level tones, and it might not be suitable for some genres. The mid-range response was crisp and distinctive, so vocals and guitars rang through clearly. I also noted that it can be impressively loud, but some compression artifacts are present at maximum volume, and the stereo content must be downmixed. The Bose Companion app is solid, and it's compatible with both iOS and Android devices, but I believe a customizable EQ would have been a useful addition. It lets you pair two speakers together to create a stereo setup for a more immersive experience, or you can enable party mode to pair with multiple speakers. So is the Bose Soundlink Revolve Plus 2 worth the money? Well, I think it's a solid option. If you're looking for a Bluetooth speaker for around the house use, the Sonos Move is also a really great alternative Bluetooth speaker, and it comes with an automatic TruePlay technology and superior overall audio quality, but it's more expensive and it has an arguably inferior battery life. The Revolve Plus 2 performs admirably in a variety of audio content, but I think it'll only suit users wanting a portable speaker with solid sound. But that's just my opinion. Let me know your guys' opinions in the comments. For links to updated pricing on all of the items mentioned, check out the description. If you guys learned something or find this video helpful, be sure to give the video a like, and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like short, informative tech videos. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.